This weekend, Rockport hosted their first ever kite festival. The coastal town sky was filled with kites of all kinds. Our Marissa Cummings has a look at all the fun. The birds in Rockport had to share the sky this weekend with flying fish, rainbow tunnels, and other soaring kites. That's because this is the first time the city's cultural arts district has put on the Kite Festival. People came ready to fly their kites, and if they didn't have one, there was a decoration station to make your own, on top of other fun activities. We have food trucks, we have vendors, but we also have some pro kiters here from Austin who are doing some demonstrations. Pro kiters like Jim Cox with Austin End of the Line Kite Team. Cox says he got interested in kites over 20 years ago when he saw a guy on his college campus flying a kite without an important element. One day uh -huh. there wasn't any wind whatsoever and he's out there flying this big eight foot dual line kite. And that made him only want to learn more. How do you do that? And he explained that there's such a thing as indoor kites. And well, he let me borrow it. And the rest is history. The team's fancy kite flying is what attracted the Broadstock family to the festival. We saw the kites flying, so we just decided to come over here. And they're happy they did. Because of my favorite. If you want to take your kite game to the next level, Cox has a simple recommendation. Spend a little more money and get you a decent kite and set of lines to begin with, and it makes it so much easier. And your kite will be gliding in no time. Marissa Cummings, 3 News.